Good morning, Jeff. Is it? I thought we'd finished that. You may have. I still thought I'd account for all the stuff that's gone missing. Aren't you? You're not a good mind to bar those little perishers from the pool and anything else they enjoy until they learn the value of property. Oh, come on. They're kids. Oh, so? They don't understand. Well, then it's our job to teach them, isn't it? Well, I'd rather teach them to swim. Mm. Anyway, do you want a hand with that? Yeah, please. Try and find out how we've managed to lose one basketball net and four hurdles already this time. Ah. Getting on then. All right. Silly prefers Graham Jill, though. Silly never ever thought he'd miss a net of Jonas, said back. Yeah. He wants me to write back and tell him how you were getting on. You should have brought the letter in. I didn't think. I've got this, though. It's in foreign. No, nah, Welsh, actually. Oh, don't tell me he speaks a language already. Not even Jonas, that's brilliant. Nah, I think he got something to write for him. He said he'd let it get rolling to translate it. Do you reckon he will come back? Nah, he's dead signed a five year contract. Got you there, McQuire. I bet you would have got so sinking his teeth into your leg. You're so funny. <laughs> Tell him who's to get in the mood about. What my thought I'd brook his bashed you up. Oh, bashed you up? Frightful cads, those of us from Brookdale. Far too common for Rodney Bennett to start tangling here. I'm not Rodney Bennett anymore, though. You wouldn't think so. Why are you still go around with your nose stuck up in the air? I didn't see you up the front when the fighting started. You forget. I don't get in fights over stupid girls. Steady on. Anyway, I was on suspension at the time, remember? Oh, yeah. Something to do with fortune bus passes, was it? And he's got the cheek to talk about other people being stupid. Swabbling again, children? Sorry, Mum. Silly boy. You too warm or are you waiting for one of us to ask you what's inside that envelope? Oh, this. Didn't anyone else get anything in the post this morning? Demo did. I'm talking to the girls. Should we have done? I don't know. The postmark. Miss Team Meg. Oh, so you've heard. What'd they say? Have you got a place in the final? Well, you don't hear from them if they're not interested in you. You not must realise that. Cow. You know what it is, don't you? Sure, they pitch out of proper photographers. What, studio? No wonder she won. Oh, nothing to do with the fact she might be better looking, I suppose. No, it isn't, actually. It's how good you look in the photograph that matters. None of us works that sort of trouble. We only had it for a laugh. I can't hear much laughing, can you? My dad saw Elizabeth with Taylor in the street once. Said he almost didn't recognise she looks so ordinary. That's right. These film stars and models, it's the makeup and lighting that makes them look so glamorous. Take that away and they're nothing. I suppose so. But they say the camera can't lie. But you're bound to be more photogenic if you've got a next type of bone structure. Bone structure? What sort of photo did you send him? An x-ray? Shut up. Is Howard in? No. Just went to stand outside his room for nothing. What you got to see him for? Anyone back from suspension has to see their year ahead. Thought he was a nine net. I've never been suspended, actually. Can I go before you? Why, right, what's that point about you seeing him? None of your business. Wait your turn, then. Come on, Rowley, you're supposed to know Welsh. Give us a chance. Hello. Here, Jeremy. Just a minute. I heard they do Latin at Rodney Bennett now. That's right. Bit of a waste of time, innit? I didn't think people spoke Latin anymore. Except that snobby Rodney Bennett. Actually, a lot of modern languages come from Latin, including English. Yeah? So you might be able to tell us what this is, then. Latin's not much good with Welsh. Oh, so you recognise the language, then? Look, I'll tell you what. If you can't tell us what it says, tell us who it's from. There's no name at the bottom. But you know, don't you? That's why you don't look so cocky anymore. Telling us that Joan hadn't really gone to Wales, so we'd all think you knew something we didn't. Yeah, trying to turn it into some big mystery to make yourself look important. Finished. Right. It says, plenty of sheep round here. Reminds me of you lot. Oh. Stupid language. Here, Jeremy. Do you know what this word is? Kill with gee. No. Why should I? Still don't know it. Well, that's a surprise. It's worse for a liar. Oh, oh sorry. 
Now there's a coincidence. Is it? Well, yes, I was just coming to see you. Well? Well, I won't have to bother now, will I? No, I meant, what did you want to see me about? Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> well, not exactly a matter of life and death, but I thought you might like to know that one of your class has been to see me about taking some time off school. Good morning, Anne Free. Good morning. Annette, can I see you after you've called the register, miss? Oh, yes, I believe congratulations are in order. How do you know? I've just been talking to Mr. Howard. Uh, yes, he tells me you want some time off. It's the final heat today, miss, at lunchtime. I only got the letter this morning. Only this morning? They don't give you much time, do they? Is that why you went rushing off to see Mr. Howard before coming to see me? I need to have to ask his permission, so I thought I'd save you the trouble. Well, as Mr. Howard has already said no, there seems hardly any point in taking the matter up with me. No, especially you've got the ump about me going to him first. I am annoyed about you going behind my back, yes, Annette. But that's not the reason I object to you having time off. If it was for anything at all beneficial to you, then you could go. What do you mean, beneficial? It's a world of fantasy, Annette, full of tinsel and glitter. For every girl that makes it, there are thousands slung to one side. So, I am in the finals. I might be one of the few. And if you are, and that's a very big if, do you know how long you'll last? Three years at the most. At least I'll have had three years. You've no right to deny me that. Maybe not, but you've got good brain if only you'd use it. You can do better than being a glorified clothes hanger, and that's what you'll be. Glorified coat hanger. She wants to watch what she's saying. She won't have any gutter in it. She didn't sound like it. Look, Miss Gould almost drew your makeup. It looks nice, right? Oh, yeah. Well, she does. If you say so, Faye. Thing is, she could dress entirely differently if she wanted to. Models can't. They have to look glamorous, because it's only their looks that people are interested in. Would you still be interested in Miss Gordon if she lost her looks? Look, what I'm saying is, if you're a teacher, it's what you can do that matters, and it won't make no difference to her job if her teeth and hair drops out. Oh, I think it might make a difference to somebody. Now, are you all sure you want to stay in here? Oh, yes. No, miss. Come along, then. Kevin. Well, the rest of you gather around the table, but do not touch the specimen. Quiet entry while you're changing rooms. Hey, Flynn, you sure it's like one of your relatives? He looks a bit like you. He has to make a joke about everything, doesn't he? Don't know what there is to get the ump about. You won't see anything here, you won't see in a butcher's shop. It ain't the same, and you know it. What? You mean, seeing all the guts and... Inns come out. All right, all right. Still trying to sound big. Who's trying to sound big? You are. What's in the rack at home? Don't make you sound any better than them in the other room. Did I say it did? Ah, but that's what you meant, though. Hi, Ken Three. Before I start, is there anyone else who'd prefer to sit in the other room while I dissect this rat? Now, please speak out. Um, uh... Where do you start? I mean, where do you begin? Keep taking the tablet. As we cut through this first layer of skin, we create two sort of flaps. And we pin those back. And you'll see that there's another body wall that has to be opened up before we actually reach the internal organs. Please, miss. Other room. I wonder how long it'd last. Miss. Go on. Firm as well. Jeremy. Now, this body wall has to be opened up. Net, you all right? Funny, I was just saying, you thought that most of the kids out there watching would have been in here, and most of us would have been out there. I mean, look, all the hard nuts. Sarah, Mandy, Kevin, me, and now you. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You are a bit pale, though. It's a good job you didn't look like that in your photograph of the competition. It's a shame I won't let her have time off, innit? Yeah, you'd think they would. After all, if Annette wins, Rachel will get some of the glory, don't it? And us? Well, she's in their form. That's right. It's Annette's the space they want. We could all help. One of us could do your hair. And Faye's got that really nice dress you'd probably lend you. We could do your nails and makeup. All by lunchtime? Yeah, it would have helped you know a bit sooner. Wouldn't have made any difference. For a start, I've got everything I need. And anyway, I can't go, so that's that. It's a shame, though. What's the first prize again? A year's supply of cosmetics. We could have all shared them between us. I mean, you wouldn't want them. Not if you've got everything you need.
Any more questions? No, no miss. No, miss. Good. Uh, would somebody put that away for me, please? We no need to disturb the other children with it just now. And the rest of you, back to your seats and copy down this diagram that's on the board, please. It does all look different when you actually see it, doesn't it, Ruth? I do. Oh, Jimmy, would you fetch all the others for me, please? Yeah, but it gives you a better idea of what you're trying to write about. That's the object of the exercise, isn't it, Terry? Now, back to your seat. Thank you, Jeremy. Now, I'd like all of you coming in to copy down the diagram that's up on the board. Come along, everybody. I've heard that they really all bought experiments from animals to test out the safety of some cosmetics before they put them on the market. Okay. You've finished your diagram, Jeremy. Live animals, too. Are you talking to anyone in particular? No. Why should I be? I mean, I know you class yourself with makeup, go and see the competitions. I think just see how sensitive you are when it comes to the animals. Get off! And then don't take it out and die. Well, what's she doing crawling around my legs? I'm looking for my bag. It must have been moved. A bag? Why didn't you say so? She just did. Do you know where it is? I think so. I think I saw someone put it in that cupboard over there. You shouldn't have gone in that cupboard. It's all right. It's all right. What are you doing in there anyway? I make it less than an hour since you reported back from suspension. You don't waste any time, do you, Irving? You know, I thought that forging bus passes was about as idiotic as you can get, but quite obviously I haven't made sufficient allowance for the full range of your imagination. Although what type of imagination it is that prompts a boy to pull a stunt like that, I can't begin to understand. Perhaps you can enlighten me. No? You don't want to tell me how that mind of yours works? Well, perhaps you'd uh, care to tell me what effect you think your little prank has had on the mind of Diane Cooney. Don't know, sir. Don't know, sir. You don't know because, like most practical jokers, you never stop to give the consequences of your actions so much as a second thought. Well, you just consider yourself in very big trouble. Come on, Annette. Miss Jones would kill me if she knew she hadn't gone yet. Five more minutes. I can't go without putting my face on. You're not supposed to be coming with us at all. It's only me who should be taking Diane home. No one else knows that. Except Mrs Jones. Anyway, I'm a bit worried about Diane. I'll be all right. There you are. Two more minutes. So you reckon you're a better swimmer than me, eh? Please. He's a bit swimmer. Shut up. I'll give you a break this afternoon, OK? OK, you're on. Get yeah. your arm bangs on. Easy. Easy. You need one of those physical dinners get worse and worse every day. Then that you know, I'm having your rat. At least we see it being prepared. I only want you one seat. Again, for the benefit of our elf. You're a finalist. That's right. This is the queue and there's the back of it. I thought there'd only be about half a dozen. I don't know that this many. This many? <laughs> What's a joke? This is only the tip of the iceberg. Have a look in there. <laughs> <laughs> Stretches right where in the hall. Oh, there must be at least 200 girls. Yeah, and I bet you're the only one in school uniform. It's <laughs> <laughs> not for me, Mum, sir. This has seen some service, hasn't it? Yes, sir. Every games master in Grange Hill must have handled this note at some time or another. It's almost as crumpled as you are. Oi! I can't hear myself thinking now. I'm trying to do an inventory. What are you trying to invent, sir? Mm. You send this boy to me at the end of the lesson, Mr. Devereux. Right. You can't be left alone for a minute, can you? Sorry, sir. Go and get changed. Sorry, sir. Sorry, I'm sorry about that, but I was up there dealing with the wastes and strays. It's all right, I know what it's like. I mean, I'm cheesed off with stock taking, but I'll tell you, I'd rather be in there with the floats and armbands than out here with this lot. Oi, Baxter didn't think much of your joke, did he? What's up with you, Flinny? 
Why be silly? You know that's dangerous. Who's asking you anyway? You lot, into the cubicles. Now! What have I told you about flicking towels? Not to do it, sir. And why have I told you not to do it? Because you could have somebody's eye out, Irving. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Good. I well, understand this too. Any more trouble for you, and you'll have more than Mr. Baxter to worry about when this lesson's over. Now go on. Hurry up, you lot. Get changed. Oh, you look like a Oh, yes. I've got something for you. You come crashing in here late and dolled up to the nines, and you blithely inform me that you've no intentions of getting changed. That's not the way things are done, Annette, and you know it. You bring a note if you want to be excused from games. How did I know I wasn't going to feel well? Well, by the look of you, you obviously felt well enough to run all the way here. So you can just carry on running into the changing area. I'm not going to swim with stomach pains. Then you can stand on the side and watch. But this much I do know, you are getting changed into your swimming costume. And you can wipe that slap off your face. Am I? You won't make me. Never mind, eh? When you get your swimming costume on, you can pry eyes up the same side of the pool and pretend it's Miss Wells. Yeah, listen, everybody. We're in for a treat. And that's going to show us the body beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Around. Yeah, okay. But don't take too long. You know what this lot I like. Yeah, thanks. Put some beef into it. And you stay out of it this time. How was I supposed to know you were having a race? Mark, set, go! Because I say so. Because of Annette, innit? it? Nobody in that water while I'm next door. And that applies to you three as well. Oh, well, give us a tie. I don't think so. What can't you? You three! You've been told once before! And I gave you a start. Annette Furman. Annette, how long are you thinking of staying in there? Till the end of the lesson. I see. And then you think you're going to go home without saying anything? I told you I'm not getting changed and there's not a lot you can do about it. I could climb over the door and pull you out of there, Annette. See you later. Jeremy, get off! I've had just about enough of him. Haven't we all? Jeremy, I'll wait back! Get it back! Get it then! 
You're so cocky, you get it. Yeah. All right. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. I'd like to go down there and whip his trunks off. That'd shut yeah, him up. Yeah, go on. You were lucky. A few more seconds and he would have had you. That's the wish you take, in it? Big man. Think yourself so big. Race you. <sighs> Chicken. Look, never mind him. Just get in there and get that bangle. No problem. Of course. I've just remembered. Chickens can't swim very well, can they? Look, just hurry up. No, I'll take my time and bring it up in my teeth. Look, just get that bangle back, right? But don't forget, it's kick, stretch, pull. Kick, stretch, pull. It's taking a bit of time, though, isn't it? You've got to do it now. You whip his trunks off and I'll go and keep dog. Go on, then. Kick, stretch, pull. Kick, stretch, pull. Do you want to go in? Come on, he'll be up in a minute. <laughs> right, we've all seen it. It's your turn now. In you go. Give me some Devra. Quick, get him. Are they gone? Yeah. And he's out. His lungs must have filled up with water almost immediately. It's hopeless. 